Well, I'm our Pax Mars. The globalists want you to go hungry, and here's proof. If you think they're gonna limit this to meat, you're sadly mistaken. I mean, this never gets limited to one item. Taxes on meat can join carbon and sugar to help limit emissions. Unbelievable. Now they want to tax meat you eat. It's all right, tax if you go to a fast food joint like McDonald's. Move over taxes on carbon and sugar. Global levy that may be next is meat. Some investors are betting governments around the world will find a way to start taxing meat production as they aim to improve public health and hit emissions targets in the Paris Climate Agreement. Well, we pulled out of that, so hopefully, hopefully it won't affect us. I don't know, but what goes around usually comes around. Socially focused investors are starting to push companies to diversify into plant protein or, or even suggest livestock producers will use a shadow price of meat similar to an internal carbon price to estimate future costs. Good God! Now the private sector wants to... so-called private sector wants to tax us. Meat could encounter the same fate as temp tobacco, carbon and sugar, which are currently taxed in 180, 60, and 25 jurisdictions around the world respectively, according to Court Monday from Investor Group, the FAIR, Farm Animal Investment Risk and Return Initiative. Lawmakers in Denmark, Germany, China, and Sweden have discussed creating livestock-related taxes in the past two years, though the idea has encountered, encountering strong resistance. I guess some bad grammar there. Uh, greenhouse gas emissions from livestock are about 14.5% of the world's total, according to the Food and Agricultural Organization, which projects, projects global meat consumption to increase 73% by mid-century, and make growing demand from economies like India and China. That could result in as much as 1.6 trillion and health and environmental costs for the global economy by 2050, according to FAIR, a London-based initiative created by Collar Capital. Good God. You know, we know about taxes on sugary drinks and all that, and tobacco. And every so often they uh, raise the uh, taxes on tobacco and then claim it's for our own good. Don't buy this. Don't buy into this. Uh, this is for your own good. You, uh, they're try they want you to go hungry is what this amounts to. These are globalists. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. And I have no more, uh, love corporate CEOs than I do of communists. In many cases, they're one and the same. Look who's invest involved in this. Bill Gates and Leonardo DiCaprio. Venture capital fund owned by Tyson Foods made his second investment Last week in Beyond Meat, which creates a plant-based burger that's also backed by billionaire Bill Gates and Leonardo DiCaprio and sold in thousands of U.S. grocery stores and restaurants. Not to me, it won't. I tried one of those goddamn... Sorry for the language, but I'm getting angry. I tried one of those goddamn tofu burgers once. I took one nibble off it. I spat it out. And I threw it in the garbage. They can shove it where the moon don't shine. It tastes horrible. Actually, it didn't have any taste, but 
either way you want to say it. But bottom line here is they want you to go hungry. And they are working any way they can to do it. Don't buy into this. This is as bad as these jerks that want, say they want to cool off the planet by putting crap into our atmosphere. I can't say on the air what I think should happen to them, so all I can say is resist learn, resist, and learn, and resist, and learn. The only thing you can do is you have to resist this before it comes back to bite us. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.